Well, I remember um, pulling up to the MTC um, on that Wednesday, and there's that nice long waiting line of cars, so you can get even more anxious than you already are. And it finally came my turn to to get out and say goodbye, and I saw all these families around me, and these kids saying bye to their parents, and everyone was crying, and I just thought, what's the big deal? It's only two years. Um, my mom was hugging me a lot and she was crying and she didn't want to say goodbye, but I was totally fine. And so the escort that was there, he grabbed my luggage and I followed him in the MTC. And I mean, I was nervous meeting new people um, and about to embark on something that was totally different, totally foreign to me. But I mean, it was a good experience so far. And I remember getting into class and meeting all the elders in my district and meeting my teachers. I love my teachers, they were great. Um, but the ones that I met, I only knew for a short time. Um, I ended up getting new teachers a couple days into my time at the MTC. Um, and they were great too. But I, I really loved that that first teacher I had, Brother Wright. He was, he was really awesome and, and helped me a lot and helped everyone else in my district too, I think. Um, but yeah, I, everyone always talked about how hard it was when I first got to the MTC and how if you could just make it till Sunday, you had the rest of it made. Um, back then we were in the MTC for almost three weeks, a whole week longer than they are now. But um, first week was solid and I, I loved it. Just soaking it all up and learning so much. There was about a week left and then it kind of started to hit me how long two years was. And I started getting really nervous and started kind of questioning if that was really what I wanted to do again. Um, but it was pretty cool. I had a friend um, from my hometown that was in the MTC the same time as me. And I ended up seeing him on a Sunday. Um, and he was leaving the next day to go to his mission. Um, but I told him how, how I was kind of struggling and wondering if that was really what I wanted to do, to be gone for two years and um, really go and teach the gospel. And he, he asked if he could give me a blessing. So he gave me a blessing. And in it, he said a lot of things that gave me comfort for the time, but ended up, being, um, ended up coming true later in my mission. Um, one of the big things was he talked about how I would find families. Um, that I would love as much as my own and families that would love me as their own. Um, and that gave me a lot of comfort to know at the time. Um, and that was the first blessing he ever gave. So um, that was a great experience for him and also for me. And so not that things got easier after that, but um, it helped me to, to press forward and keep going with my, my MTC experience. Um, <clears throat> and looking back, I loved the MTC. Uh, especially the food. The food was great. But also all the things that I learned. You learn so much in the MTC and it's it's a wonderful experience and <clears throat> I think about some of the things that other other missionaries had said about the MTC how if you can just make it past that it was gr it's great after that. But honestly, I look back and think that the MTC was probably one of the funnest parts being able to experience that.